If you think you don't like meatloaf or that meatloaf can't be a clean and delicious meal, then you need to watch this video because for this quick bite, I'm making a meatloaf recipe from trainermama.com that's not only simple and nutritious, but it's gonna have your entire family asking for seconds. So the first thing we wanna do is preheat the oven to 350. When you're making meatloaf, you can pretty much use any type of ground meat that you want, but today I am using ground beef because I'm pregnant and I have been craving red meat. I've got a pound of grass-fed ground beef here, and to that we're adding two slices of finely chopped whole wheat bread, three quarters of a cup of skim milk, two whole eggs, three tablespoons of onion powder. Now this is gonna give it that classic meatloaf taste that we all grew up with tablespoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of sage, dried sage, then I have a half a cup of fresh chopped parsley. Now you could use dried parsley here, but I find that the fresh parsley has a clean, fresh flavor that you're not gonna get from the dried parsley. A tablespoon of kosher salt, some fresh black pepper, and we're gonna finish it up with one cup of finely shredded zucchini. Now you could also use finely diced mushrooms, some shredded sweet potato, chopped up spinach, whatever veggie you had on hand. The point is, is that we wanna get this to be nice and nutrient dense. It's gonna bulk up the volume, so we're gonna to get to have a bigger piece, and at the end of the day, we're just getting more for our money. Then you're gonna get your hands right into that bowl and just start mixing and keep on mixing until you've got all those ingredients really well combined. Once you've got your hands washed and all nice and dry, you wanna get the meat mixture into a loaf pan. Now, I've been trying to come away from using those nonstick aerosol spray cans, and my husband came up with the best idea. He bought a pastry brush, and then what I do is I put either a little bit of olive oil or grapeseed oil right into a bowl, I dip my brush right in, and then I just paint the dish or the pan that I'm gonna be using so that nothing sticks. Brilliant. Then once you've got your pan all oiled up, you want to get the meat mixture right into your loaf pan. You want to smooth out the top, make sure everything is nice and even, and then this baby is ready to go into the oven. I'm putting my timer on for 50 minutes. And in the meantime, we're going to work on our topping. Now it's the topping that makes meatloaf such a kid-friendly meal because it adds this sweet, ooey-gooey layer right over the top. And all you have to do is combine two tablespoons of brown sugar with one teaspoon of dried mustard powder and a quarter cup of ketchup. Now when you're buying your ketchup at the grocery store, if you can find a brand that doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup, you're gonna be another step ahead of the game, guys. And then you're just gonna bring that all together and meet me back here in 50 minutes. Ever since I became a mom, I find that more times than not, I make our dinner during the first half of the day and then just heat it up come dinner time. And meatloaf is perfect for that. You could prep it in the morning, pop it in the fridge, and then bake it up at dinner time. Or you could even bake it up in the morning and then just reheat it at dinner time. It also makes great leftovers, great sandwiches, and it works really well in the freezer. After 50 minutes, our meatloaf is going to be ready for its finishing touches. So, I go grab it out of the oven. Oh, it smells so good. And then you just want to pour that sweet ketchup mixture we made right over the top. And you can use your pastry brush or a spoon just to spread it out so you have a nice, thin, even layer. And then once you've got that down, it's going back in the oven for another 10 minutes. After 60 minutes, this meatloaf is done, but you just want to give it a good 10, 15 minutes to cool off and then it's ready to serve. Then all you have to do is serve your meatloaf alongside a nice big pile of veggies or a green salad and you've got yourself a clean and delicious meal that you can feel good about eating. I want to give Mandy from trainermama.com a big thank you for allowing me to share her recipe with you guys. And remember, if you're looking for more clean and delicious recipes, check out dannyspees.com. I'm Danny Spees and I'll see you next time with another quick bite. Mmm. Just as good as I remember it. Mm. Two.